Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. Got a little something in the mail today after I was running around. Got a package from Yakima Valley Hops. This is a eight. Uh, I don't know, actually, I can't remember how many ounces that to specify. But uh, Amarillo Hops. Ah, for a little Amarillo IPA action coming up in my brain hole. Uh, this is uh, four ounces of Amarillo. Uh, I won it from Brewing with Bill. So if you're not watching Brewing with Bill, one word on YouTube, give him a check out. Sub to his channel. Uh, he did a 200 subscriber giveaway, and the winner won two or four ounces of whatever pop they wanted. I wanted Belma and Amarillo. Didn't have Belma at the time. That's perfectly fine. That was just an idea of mine. But I wanted Amarillo, so I doubled it up. Doubled up Amarillo. Boom. Here it is. Double it up. Uh, and uh, definitely go check it out. YakimaValleyHops.com and info at YakimaValleyHops.com. There's the card. There's the card right there. So the card's going to go right there. I don't know if you can see the card, but you will at some point in time when I arrange this place a little bit better. Yakima Valley Hops, really good stuff. So I'm assuming this is a sticker. It is a sticker. Yakima Valley Hops. Let's see how dirty this thing is. Look at that. Huh? Yakima Valley Hops. So, thank you. Bill, that was really great. I'm really happy to have won your challenge. And now we're going to get into a Pennsylvania brew. We're going to throw all this together with a brew review. This is the first bottling of Elk Creek from Mannheim, Pennsylvania, um, Route 45, I do believe. This is their Oh My Bach. So this is uh, My Bach. And beer brewed and bottled by Elk Creek Cafe at Aleworks LP at Milheim, Pennsylvania. Uh, and this is a big old bomber of it. 22 fluid ounces. Just a plain old gold cap. This is their, obviously, their kind of spring serving. My Bach and all that good stuff. So let's check it out. This is the only beer that is bottled by them so far, I believe. I've actually uh, brewed, I've actually reviewed one of their beers already, their uh, Great Blue Hair and Pale Ale, which I thought was very nice. I actually had a growler of it. Okay, actually crystal clear. Let's get some of this haze off the glass. Yep, beautiful. Nice uh, uh, dark, dark amber mahogany kind of color. Basically, just slightly off white bubbly head. Mild carbonation coming out. Let's get a nose. All right, I'm definitely getting that lager yeast. I mean, there's a big lager yeast note coming off this one. No grassy, earthy, slightly peppery. Those hops that they use, man, you can really smell them. They almost smell like the type of like Haltera or Noble hops. Maybe even a little bit of Tetnanger. I don't. I don't really know, but it's very, very kind of like a herbal, or earthy, peppery German hop. All right, let's get a taste. Cheers. Very light body, but it's got a nice residual uh, taste. Um, it's not a super light body. I give it a high, high low mouthfeel. But it's got this residual waft of caramel, burnt caramel actually, burnt sugar. And then it has this kind of um, earthy, nutty quality, mixing with soft bread. Very soft bread. A little brown bread. At first you feel it's going to just finish like a lager. But that's when those kind of, kind of husk of walnuts they have husk of walnuts, those kind of nutty, earthy hop qualities kick in. And you get those soft caramels, and you get that kind of uh, brown bread characteristic. If they got their bottling line done just in time for this, I can understand why they bottled this beer. But uh, 
Honestly, I, I want to see some blue hair, great blue hair and pale ale. I want to see some IPAs. I want to see some of that coming out, not just lagers. You know, don't, don't unless it's a seasonal like this. Obviously, don't waste your time bottling lagers. I want to see some good stuff. Let's go some some hopped up stuff, stuff pipe people can't get unless you're at, you're at the brewery. I don't know even how, I couldn't even tell you how much this was. I know at Henry Volkner's, a case of these they wanted 67 bucks for. That's a little high for a lager. No, really, because box are just lagers. But uh, but for right now, I don't know their how much they brew this or that. For a lager, for a, for a Maybach, I think this is pretty good. It has a nice little characteristic. It's on the lighter side, but it's supposed to be. So. <clears throat> All in all, I'm probably going to give it an 8. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. This has been Elk Creek. Oh my, my Bach. It's been Paul from BA Brew News. Cheers.